All right, if you use N8N, then you know that it's not really possible to post to TikTok. If you search for TikTok, then you can see that nothing appears. And if you want to use their official content posting API, then you need to have a verified website and an actual app verified by TikTok. And this is because this API is directed to actual applications like CapCut. Because if you ever used it, then you know that you can actually post directly to TikTok from CapCut. So that's why this API exists. It's not really directed to developers or people that want to use it to automate their content. So with all this said, we're just left with third-party alternatives. For example, here we have Blowtato that starts at $29 per month and it lets you post up to 900 TikToks per month. Then we have Erasure that does have a free plan, but this one doesn't support TikTok. If you want to post to TikTok, then you would have to purchase the $149 per month plan. But then we have Upload Dash Post, which also has a free plan. But again, if you want to post to TikTok, then you do have to purchase the basic plan, which starts at around $19 per month. And as you can see, all of these platforms basically have a starter fee if you want to automate TikTok posting. So this is exactly where Buffer comes in. They do have a free plan. Their free plan supports TikTok posting and you can post unlimited videos. So in paper, all of this looks amazing and the actual solution to post to TikTok from N8N. But there's just one issue. They don't have an API right now. And the only way you can access a sort of API is via Zapier and IFTTT. And from my experience, this platform doesn't support uploading videos, just some text. So we're just left with Zapier. So in N8N, you know, you have your normal workflow. And then to actually post a video on TikTok, then you would have to use a Google Sheets node. So you just add a row in Google Sheets with the URL and the video title. And then in Zapier, you would have a workflow that triggers whenever there's a new row in this sheet. So then Zapier would send that video over to Buffer and Buffer would post it to TikTok. That's it. And it's super simple. And if you're wondering about Zapier pricing, then don't worry because we're going to do everything under the free plan. And as you can see down here, the free plan allows you 100 tasks per month. So in NN language, that's 100 workflow executions per month. So basically 100 TikToks posted per month. And that's about three TikTok posts per day for free. So in my opinion, that's a really good deal. So without further ado, let's get started building this step by step. But before, I'm just going to show you a little demo. So here in N8N, um, of course, you would have your normal workflow. But in my case, for testing purposes, I'm just using this set node with my video and the title of my video. And then the actual node to post to TikTok would be this Google Sheet Append Row node. In this case, I'm using this sheet with a video URL and a title. And for the values to send, well, this is where you would map your video in the video column and your title in the title column. So if I click on execute workflow, then you'll see that the row has been added in the Google Sheet. And in a maximum of 15 minutes, you'll see your TikTok video posted in your account. So if I refresh TikTok, then you can see that the video has been successfully posted. It comes with the title, with the audio and everything ready to go. So as you can see, everything is perfectly working. So let's get started with these steps. The first step is to have a Google Sheet to be used as a data transfer between N8N and Zapier. And in this case, you would have a video URL column and a title column. So once you have that, then you can go to your N8N workflow that you're working on and search for Google Sheets and this append row in sheet node. So once you're here, select your document. In this case, mine is called N8N to Zapier to Buffer to TikTok. And for the sheet, well, it's basically just sheet one. And here for the values to send, you can just map in your video URL and your title. So once you have that, then that's everything for your basically post to TikTok node. So then the next thing you have to do is to create your free buffer account. Link will be in the description. And in the left here, you can see a bunch of channels. In this case, you will choose the TikTok one. So click on connect TikTok. And then you'll have a page pop up like this one where you will see your TikTok account. In my case, I can see it because I'm already logged in right here. So just make sure you're logged in in another tab. And then just click on finish connection. So once you have that ready, then in the left panel, you will see your TikTok account. And after that, well, then you have successfully set up your Buffer account um, for TikTok posting. So the next step is to set up the Zapier workflow. You can just create a free account again in the description below. So in the top left, just click on create and create Zaps. And in this workflow builder for the first step, we'll pick our trigger. So click on that and search for Google Sheets. 
So it's right here. And then for the trigger event, you have to select the one named Neo Spreadsheet Row. Then for the account, in my case, I'm already connected, so I can just pick it from the drop down. But if you haven't connected your Google account yet, then it's super easy to do. You just log in like for any other application. So once you have that, then you can just go to continue. Then for the spreadsheet, you can just select the one you have. In my case, it's called NRN to Zapier to Buffer to TikTok, so I select that one. Then for the worksheet, again, you just pick the one you have. In my case, it's sheet one. And then before you continue, just make sure that you have a clean Google Sheet because after this, you won't be able to change anything here. And this is because if you do, while your workflow is turned on, then some bugs may happen. So it's just better to not touch anything here and just let NRN manipulate all of the added rows. So yeah, just make sure you have your sheet clean because you won't be able to touch it again. And then just click on continue. And here it's asking us to test our trigger. So just test trigger. And well, right now we don't have any rows, so it says no rows were found. That's okay, you can just skip a test. And then just click on continue. And then here is where you were put in your buffer step, so just search for buffer. And for the action event, you have to select the one called add to queue. Then again, you can just log into your account. In my case, I already have mine logged in. So after that, just go to continue again. For organization, you can just select my organization. Then for your channel, here is where you pick in your TikTok account, so just click on that. And then for the text is where you have to map it in from your Google Sheet. So in my case, it's on the B column, so just select column B. And then for the media, just select it as a video. And then in this video box that appears, again, you have to map it from your sheet. So in this case, it's in column A, so we just map in column A. And then for the method, you just have to set it as share now. So it actually publishes it instantly. So once you have all of this, then you can just go to continue, test and publish. So once you publish it, then you'll see something like this. You can just exit out of there and go back home. And boom, that's everything you need to do. So now whenever you want to post to TikTok from NRN, then you would just use this node right here. In my opinion, three free automated TikTok posts per day is real nice. So if you found this helpful, then leave the thumbs up. If you like NRN and AI, then check out my previous videos where I talk more about that and subscribe to not miss out on any other future videos. Also, a friendly reminder that we have a school community called No Code AI Automators, where you'll be able to download all of the projects that I build on my YouTube channel. And of course, you'll also get NRN tech support from myself and access to a community of AI automators. So with that said, let me know if you have any questions or feedback. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.